Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. Have you ever wondered how long evil would seem to be winning the battle? Today's Psalm, Psalm 74, asks that question. Now, a little historical context. So the probable setting for this Psalm was sometime after the Babylonians overthrew Jerusalem in about 957 BC. The account is found in 2 Kings 24. So at that time, King Nebuchadnezzar's army from Babylon had attacked Jerusalem and Jehoiachin, Judah's king, surrendered to him. And King Nebuchadnezzar took Judah's king and his family prisoner. He also carried off all of the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house. And he cut in pieces all of the vessels of gold that were in the temple of the Lord. Now, these are all the things that Solomon, king of Israel, had made decades before. And Nebuchadnezzar carried away all Jerusalem and all of the officials and all the mighty men of valor, 10,000 captives altogether. This included the craftsmen and all of the smiths, so that all that remained in Jerusalem were the poorest people of the land. And as Jerusalem and the temple laid in ruins, the psalmist wrote today's psalm. So let's take a look at it. Psalm 74, I'm just going to read verses 1 through 3. Oh God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have purchased of old, which you have redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Sometimes it just seems like evil constantly wins. The suffering of God's people is often so intense that we question why. Now, the answer for Jerusalem's suffering in this passage is that it was the consequence of their sin. They had rebelled against God and had worshipped false gods. So their destruction was of their own making. And sometimes that's true of us. We experience the consequence of our sins, but other times it's completely unconnected with any wrongdoing on our part. Like Job, we have no idea why trouble and suffering have come to our door. Regardless of the suffering that you're facing, no matter how difficult it is to find an answer to the question why, I want you to remember the prayer that ends Psalm 74. At the end of Psalm 74, the psalmist writes, Arise, O God, defend your cause. Remember how the foolish scoff at you all the day. In our difficulty, we can pray that too. We can ask God to defend his cause. God can defend his people. He can defend you. We can ask for that. And then we can wait for that. And we can hold on to the hope that in the end, God is the one who wins. I hope that today's word for the day has encouraged you. And if it has, would you like it, share it, or leave a comment below? Have a blessed day, Calvary.